Hey guys, KBeast here. Um, I'm finally back with another art video after a lengthy absence. Um, it took a lot longer than I had anticipated to build up a recording setup for my traditional art videos. Uh, but I finally got everything, so here I am. Um, so for this week's piece, I just want, I'm doing a, a little watercolor piece. Um, there's a little backstory involved. Uh, my grandfather passed away um, a few days ago. Uh, I'm, I'm editing this on April 23rd, and he passed away on Thursday um, after seven years of uh, fighting um, MSA, which is uh, multiple system atrophy. Um, it's always fatal, and it's a degenerative uh, disease. It attacks the nervous system. Um, a lot of the symptoms are very similar to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, um, but it doesn't respond to treatment the way uh, some medicines for Parkinson's do. So, um, but yeah, so he passed away on Thursday, and uh, my dad had just arrived in Indiana for a visit. Um, he got there just in time, so. Obviously, me and my brothers didn't go this time because we just saw him back in February and going all the way out to Indiana is kind of a kind of difficult for us to do all the time. But I'm glad that we got to see him a couple months ago. So, um, so I wanted to do a little artwork for him since he passed. Uh, my grandfather was really a, a huge bird watcher. He got my dad into it as well, and um, he also made stained glass windows after he retired. He made them for years, and uh, one of the pieces that he made that I have the fondest memories of from when I was a kid was this giant window piece of a great blue heron uh, that was in their old house in Michigan. So with that in mind, I decided to do a great blue heron in watercolor and try to make it resemble stained glass. So what you saw in the beginning of the picture, um, I had done a sketch, and I lined it and then using my light box I traced lines with masking fluid and uh, now I'm just filling in the the spaces with, with watercolor so um, I just wanted to do a basic wash on the inside of the bird and then outside which I actually went back a couple of times to darken so that there would be a clear distinction between the bird and the background um, so yeah so that's the piece that I decided to do um, I'm using uh, Windsor and Newton Cottonman watercolors. I have a whole bunch of tube paints left over from when I was at Mass Art a few years ago. And the paper I am using is a uh, Canson watercolor paper. It's 300 GSM. Um, it's a cheap $12 pack of paper from Michaels. I'm still pretty new at watercolor, so I don't want to splurge on like you know something like arches just yet. Which I actually have arches. I have hot press arches sitting around, but it's really expensive, so I don't want to touch it yet. So I'm practicing on cheaper paper. Um, so I did a little salt technique, which is one of my favorite things to play with while the water dried, and then I took off the uh, masking fluid, and and now I'm just going in and filling in gaps that. Um, got covered up. Uh, my the brushes that I used with the masking fluid were weren't small enough to get fine detail, which is okay because masking fluid doesn't really flow very well, <laughs> and it destroys brushes anyway. So I don't want to like spend money on a nice brush just to have it ruined by the fluid. But I just went back in and filled in some gaps and darkened some colors and stuff for this piece. Um, yeah, so, I don't really know much, much to say on that point, um, my grandfather, I'm really gonna miss him, he, uh, he had a great sense of humor, and, uh, was this huge nerd, which is where my family got it, um, pretty much anybody who has met my family knows that the Keenies are kind of a weird bunch, and it's definitely genetic, um, so, yeah, um, I'm lining it here with my, um, Copic uh, multi-liners, uh, just to kind of separate the shapes out a little bit more. Um, so yeah, so my dad is actually still in Indiana at the time I'm recording this. He's going to come back next week. Uh, he's out there with my grandmother and my aunt, and they're just, um, 
cleaning out his room in the hospital and taking care of final paperwork and all that other fun stuff. Uh, there's not going to be a funeral for my grandfather. Uh, my family doesn't like funerals and he didn't want one. Uh, what we did last year, last August, um, was there was this big family reunion party and all of his brothers and sister came out. He had like six brothers. It was a big family and a whole bunch of old family friends came out and we just kind of had like a big party and it was kind of like a going away party because um, we all knew he was sick and that he wasn't going to recover so he said that um, if everybody was going to come out to see him anyway he'd rather they did it when he was alive so he could see them too so we did this huge party last year and um, that was essentially his his funeral so um, so for final touches I pulled out my Prismacolor um, premieres and I have this little color chart so I just picked some colors just to kind of go over what I couldn't do with watercolor and just uh, kind of darken some shapes and add a little bit more depth. I didn't want to go crazy because I did still want it to have the illusion of stained glass so that's what I did with this. Um, so anyway uh, back to my channel. Um, if you looked through my channel you may notice a few things um, the vlogs that were up are now missing um, they're hidden they're private now and but you can view them on a playlist on my new channel I have a vlog channel now and all of my vlogs are gonna go up there and then there's a playlist to watch the old ones so that's how I'm doing it now and uh, I do weekly vlogs on that channel when I'm at home and then whenever I go and travel um, like when I went to Indiana a couple months ago or when I go see my friends in Lowell, I do daily vlogs. So, um, you should definitely check those out. And then my plan for this channel is to upload uh, a weekly art video every Saturday. So, keep an eye out for those. I've already got another one recorded and mostly edited. Uh, I just haven't done the voiceover yet because I've been sick the past week. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice or not, but I'm still recovering from a cold. So yeah uh, for the last touches here I got my hands on the uh, fine tech metallic watercolor palettes I had the gold set and then the, um, the other set with like the 12 different colors and I just decided to just add a little shimmer with the blue silver one to this piece it, it doesn't show up that well uh, unless the light hits it just right but I thought it was a nice touch and I just bought them so I had to play with them so yeah I, I had fun working on this piece this was mostly just kind of working through grief I guess um, but I do like the way it turned out and I'm thinking I might mail this to my grandmother I'm gonna talk to her and see if she wants it so so yeah that's the piece and um, I guess that's all I've got to say about that so thank you guys so much for watching uh, like comment and subscribe and uh, check back here next week for more art videos and I'll see you then bye that I hadn't drawn in a long time. And it was kind of nice to revisit them. Um, although, again, my carpal tunnel was really flaring up while I was working on this. So I didn't spend as much time on each face as I wanted to. And Ready? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Oh, bro.